and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Uh, this week we're going to be in keeping with our Instagram theme. Uh, we're going to do a Instagram hack of sorts uh, to show you how to do a uh, seamless uh, panoramic in Instagram. Uh, it's actually very easy to do. And uh, if you're not comfortable with Photoshop, uh, this is really so simple to follow. Even if you don't know about Photoshop, you'll be able to do this. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So number one problem we have in Instagram is we have this beautiful photo. And if we go and post this into Instagram, uh, it's going to get hacked or cropped. Uh, if we go landscape mode, it's going to be very small. And it really does take away. If we go for the bigger real estate of the 4x5 portrait crop, uh, it does make the thing, but it, we lose half the image uh, in the post. So my solution, of course, is to do a panoramic, a seamless panoramic or multi-post where our photo is seamlessly put across okay and the person will be able to just see it, to scroll left and right right through the picture okay and it's very very easy to do so let me go ahead and jump right in okay so we're going to use this photo we have on the screen here let me see what's bouncing up and down here always something all right so excuse me for that um so we've got this photo and this is uh looks like it'll be a very good candidate for a panoramic uh, multi-image post to instagram so it's a real easy steps on how to do this so we'll go ahead and just get started and uh the first thing you need to do is crop the image so that it is the right dimensions to do a multi-segmented uh, panoramic. So we can use the crop tool and we're going to change the ratio by typing in 16 by 10. Okay. And that's all you need to remember is that's the magic number for doing a a panoramic seamless image okay so 16 by 10 on the ratio simply frame your your shot the way you like the crop and when you're done go ahead and hit enter okay and that's it now we have it cropped so we're ready for the right we're the ready for the right resolution now we need to turn around and use a little bit of uh, Photoshop's ability to uh, segment out exactly so we get a seamless photo. Okay, when we put these together, we're going to split them apart and then bring them back together in the Instagram post. So we're going to go up to view and then down to view there's called new guide layout. And it's going to open up here and you can see here that Photoshop is breaking up the image into eight uh, segments okay we don't need that for ours it's not that complicated we just simply want to uh, break us into two so under columns uh, it's two okay and if you have anything in the other field gutters and everything remove that you don't want any gutters otherwise that'll cause a seam in your uh, pictures okay so we have our guide and so now we have this guide in between there okay so we've made a seamless cut now we're going to actually make the cut so you're gonna go up to the crop tool again you're gonna hold your mouse button down till it opens up a side menu and you're gonna notice we have a slice tool okay we're gonna select the slice tool and then up here it says select from guides so this is gonna make a very exact cut based on the guideline we put so we just go ahead and make the slice and now you notice we have slice one and slice two okay 
And so now we've precisely made a seamless slice of the image. Now we're on the downhill swing, actually. We go ahead and hit uh, uh, File, and then we're going to Export, and we're going to go to for Web, Save for Web. And again, we got to make sure we're JPEG. Uh, the quality, you can make it 100% if you like. Um, and convert to sRGB. And here, the one last thing we need to do is we need to make the height of the image. Okay? The height has got to be, for Instagram, 1350. Okay? And you'll notice that it automatically took care of the width for us. All right? And we're going to go ahead and hit Save. And pick a selection. I'm going to go ahead and just put it to the desktop. Or actually, I'm just going to, yeah, just put it to the desktop. And uh, so then, all slices. Okay, so it's going to save all of them. And it's going to churn. And it's instantly done. And so now we're going to uh, go into. Uh, our Instagram here. There's a folder called images. And here are the two images that we have. Okay, image one and image two. So if we, if we quick look at that, there's the one half. And there's the second half. Okay. So now all we need to do is... Uh, transfer them to our phone so that we can upload to Instagram. Um, now, bear in mind, uh, if you have a Mac, it's real easy. Uh, you can just simply select AirDrop. Okay, Share, and then AirDrop, and you'll get transferred for lossless. And so it's transferring to the phone now okay and that's that all right so we're done we're transferred that so the rest of the stuff is going to be on our phone okay so for the phone I'm gonna bring up Instagram and I'm gonna go ahead and make a new post like normal I'm going to make, make sure that I have the first image that I want. Okay, don't make sure I put them in the right order. I'm going to size it up so it's a full 4x5. Okay, and now, after I've done that, I need to select the multi-select. And now that's going to enable me to put in the second image. Okay. So now we're putting in both images... One and two, as you can see. And now we're just going to go hit it next. Okay. And I will write a tag. Uh, multi. Or actually. Seamless. Multi post. Okay. And hit OK. And go ahead and share that. And there we are. Now you'll see here, we now have a panoramic or a multi-post, seamless post, right within the Instagram. It's that easy. Uh, so... Again, pick your photos carefully. Make sure that they'll work in this scenario. And I think you'll find this is a nice little touch. So hopefully you found it interesting. Until next week, you guys take care.